everybody, my name is Phoenix Fan and welcome to an episode of Pikmin 2. Yes, um, I thought that I would start playing this again. Um, and I really, really enjoy this game and I thought that I would play th through it for you guys. No. Uh, since I finished Pikmin 1 on the channel. Um, oh, hang on. I'll just keep quiet through this uh, cutscene for you. So then you can read it yourselves and whatever. Yes, here we have uh, Captain Olimar going onto the planet Hockatate. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit of a mess. Um, and yeah, we are landing. Oh, President of Hockatate Freight and local employee, Louis. Oh, look, we're next to a brand new ship. I just, I just love the talking in this, so. I'm just going to be silent so you can hear it. Funny. <laughs> and yep, to repay us the loan, they have to take our ship. You know, the same ship that we took ages to build and find our ship parts again for. Ah oh dear. Yeah, so the rest of our line, we have to pay it off, and it is, yep, 10,100 things. I don't know what we're going to call them. Oh my god, it's a mysterious object. It's a bottle cap lid. Wow, I just really, really love the facial expression, it's great. Treasure, treasure, money, 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 money. If you think that's treasure, then okay, wow. <laughs> Initiating valuation of recovered treasure, this artifact is worth 100 pogos. This thing's worth 100 pogos? That's more than a year's salary. See, so yeah, that's 100 pogos paid off. Yes, yes, there are. Yep, instead of saying hello to the uh, to your family and everyone again, Olimar. Yeah, you get to go back to that planet in the brand new ship with Louis to collect off money. Well, collect bits to pay money to pay the debt. Thanks, Louis. <laughs> Didn't even get to say hi to our, <laughs> to our um, kids or anything. <sighs> oh dear. Off we are into space again. Oh, narrowly avoiding that uh, meteor. Under planet Earth in the future. Like many, many, many millions of years from now. And yeah, we are in the Valley of Repose. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh god, it's a tree. Well, there goes Louis. Ow. Wow, our ship just literally spat us out. That's lovely. Bow is closed. I have averted a crash landing. Running diagnostics. Alert. Danger. Louis he is missing. He must have somehow fallen out of the cockpit. Dot -dot -dot. He is not responding via his communicator. He is either dead or, you know, <laughs> Float, flatting protocol are in danger. 
Olima, you must find Louis before he freezes to death in the cold of this planet. What a lovely morbid image of, uh, of Pikmin 2 to start off with. Wait a moment, look. Yeah, Pikmin beating up the wildlife. Yeah. Could this be these Pikmin? No, girl. Could these be Pikmin? They look like they're about to be devoured as we speak. Oh, yes. They look so helpless. <laughs> you must help them quickly. Press B to call them with your whistle, Captain Lalamar. What's B? What? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> you can also hold B to make the sound of your whistle carry further. Remember. Yeah, that that uh, ship will be uh, will be happening quite a bit for this little tutorial bit. I'm sorry, <laughs> but yeah, that's how it is. The Pikmin ran into ran to your side. They seem to remember you, Captain Alama. How fantastic! Give them instructions and do not delay. Hold A to grab a Pikmin and release to throw it. Yeah, chuck it at the enemies, and then the Pikmin will kill the enemies instead of the enemies killing the Pikmin. See, I remember what to do, ship. Oh, look at the ravenous little Pikmin killers. They're adorable. Oh, hello. Attention, Captain Alamar. I have just re-established my communications link with Louis. It is fortunate we have managed to confirm his safety. Press Y to communicate with him. <coughs> Sorry. I am quite interested in the DNA details of his condition. I can't fucking read for the life of me. I'm sorry. Huh. But yeah, those Pikmin can't go through there at the minute. So, press Y. And there he is. Going, Louie. Wow. <laughs> I just love little details of the uh, in the snow there where we landed. <laughs> Louie, allow me to assess your condition. You're alive. Oh, shit. I mean, as per our safety protocols. Are you at all injured? Is that so? Taking my concerns are then my concerns are eased. God you can't reach for shit today. Our communication link shows you are nearby. Can you make your way to our location and rejoin us? I will navigate for you. Please start slash pause to contact me and obtain information about the terrain. Yeah, we don't need to do that because, well, it's snowy. That's all I can tell you. But yeah, now we're playing as Louis. Oh, look, some more, uh, more of those little plant things. And <gasps> it's a Pikmin ship. Oh, the onion, as they call it. Louis, that ob object before you appears to be one of those onions mentioned in Alamar's report. Whew. God, talking like that takes it out of me. But I'm going to carry it on as much as I can do. <laughs> wow, I really, really do love all the facial expressions. It really, really gives them character and everything. It's really, really cool. The seed the onion ejected just sprouted. According to Alamar's report, it could be plucked with A. I'll pluck you with A in a minute. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's adorable. <laughs> you really, really are cute. Aww, a cute little vicious, merciless killing machine in our command. It's adorable. Laurie, this must be one of the Pikmin creatures from Alamar's report. It is staring at you. You can use C to issue objectives to your Pikmin squad and even direct their movement. You could disband your squad with X. Interesting. Alamar's description of the creatures resembling pick big carrots was strictly, was sickeningly accurate. Mm. Glory, my senses detected drool in the corner of your mouth. Are you alright? No, Louie, no, you can't eat them. They're too adorable. Wow. <laughs> Louie does not like the minisites. Yep, thumbnail picture right there. 
up. But yeah, now that we have our own uh, little pigmen friend, we can do this right here. Also, uh, this thing here is a lot, lot quicker, and more another sort of change pick than Pikmin One is. Uh, the Pikmin you saw just there picked up one of those pellets on his own. He didn't automatically come back to us, so then we had to throw him out there. Um, we still do have somewhat to do that, but not as much as we did in Pikmin One. So yeah, that's a nice little improvement that they made on it. The onion ejected more seeds. The pellet from that flower must hold nutrients that breed Pikmin. Somehow. How the fuck should I know? I'm a ship. Robot thing. Yes, the Pikmin gather nutrients, hold them to the onion, and further propagate the species. <clears throat> <coughs> Sorry. The onion is a Pikmin mothership. Reviewing on the Mazma part, it seems repeatedly tapping A lets one rapidly pluck Pikmin sprouts. Oh, in this one you can just hold it. No, never mind. Yeah, it did it, it, it. You can hear me tapping it. Yep, cool. There's one. There's another one. Uh, no, okay, cool. It is just, uh, oh no. Two more up here. Yeah, sorry if this is a little bit slow to start off with, but yeah, this is the uh, tutorial bit, so... Yeah, it will be. Oh, yeah. Carry that one back for me. Yep. There you go, cool. Oh, no, I have to, uh... How we see now, we've got 12 out all together. Is that all the ones we've got, or has one of them disappeared? I can hear other Pikmin in the uh, background going hip, 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 hip. There might be the other ones that uh, Captain Alamar had. Whee! No, that's where we landed. Okay, cool. Sorry, my navigational skills are a bit to be desired. Come on, Leaf Pikmin. Come on, you. Is it down the stump then? No. No, just down here. Oh my god, we have our first treasure, our battery. With a nondescript thing on the side of it. It's totally not Duracell. <laughs> wow, it's Leca Rud. Yeah. Perhaps this object is one of the treasures that we were searching for. The only reason we found it here is because this is where you crash landed. How fortunate! Not like I try to teach you anything or whatever. <coughs> I can't talk. I would like to appraise it, but you must regroup with Anima first. Can you see him? Press L to move the camera behind you. R to zoom in Z to change the angles. Yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing that voice for. But yes, there was our first treasure, a battery. But yes, here we have some bags. And oh look, there's Olimar with some Pikmin. So we just... And then Olimar. There we go, 15 exact Pikmin. I mean, yeah, 15 exact Pikmin to do the thing. And we're reunited! Cool! Wah, 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 wah. Captain Olimar, Louis, you are reunited at last. This has been a troublesome start to our trip. Yeah. But now you must feel assured that your combined wits can get you through anything, correct? From now on, use B to form single group, X to take solo action, and Y to change players. So yeah, yeah. I'm going to have uh, you guys work on that, so then uh, there's enough to take it back to the, uh, hello, to a ship which I think is around here. Although, hang on, before we do that, I'm going to take this down, if I could throw for toffee.
No, we need 16 for that. Okay. No, we don't. We need 35. Jesus. See, I need to take this one back. Right, which I will cut to two. So yes, as you can probably uh, see now, I managed to um, bring back that um, that creature back to the Pikmin ship and then dug out this battery then um, I'm waiting for them to bring it all the way back to here. I oh, know, my God, it's a battery and it's worth 280. Woo. <laughs> wow. Courage reactor. Huh. Didn't remember calling it that, but okay then. <laughs> wow. Yeah, all the names for the items in here is just great. <laughs> wow. Our first day of our first day of exploration has yielded our first treasure. We'll be done on record time. I took the liberty of naming it when I praised it. The name reflects my current thinking. And the Android sent by Cyberlife. Leave it to me to think of catchy names for hit products. It is one it is but one of my many, many talents. Like talking, for example. <sighs> yes. We shall end our first day here and report back to the president. His face will surely be joyous. But yes, um as the ship I think his name is Echo uh, said. Um Yeah, this is just waffling, so yeah, basically, it's just saying that um, that we need to leave the area. <laughs> we need to get out of there, um, as Sonic would say, um, before night time. Otherwise, the creatures will eat us. But yes, I think I'm going to leave this website here, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to comment, um, like, and subscribe. That would be amazing. Um, also, thank you um, to the person who got 10 out of 10 on the Five Nights at Freddy's. Um, Guess the song, guess the Five Nights at Freddy's song quiz there. That was amazing. That was awesome. I got 10 out of 10. You know who you are. Um, but yes, I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one. Bye bye.